Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking to watch this very different video. Many of you all know that I am currently completing my 1200 hour dietetic internship through Mount Mary University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to become a registered dietitian nutritionist. Actually, just yesterday, I completed my eight week food service management rotation at the Freighter Hospital in Mononymy Falls, Wisconsin, which is just outside Milwaukee. Along the way, I completed many different projects and assignments, and for one of those, I made a video, and it's actually kind of a fun food review where I do eat a lot. Many of you have commented or sent me messages wondering about my internship and what all I am doing, so I did want to post this video to the channel for anybody interested to watch. I'm looking forward to hearing and reading all the feedback. Let me know down in the comments if any of the foods I enjoy during this video you'd like to try too. Hey everybody, my name is Randy Santel and I can promise you that by the end of this video you are going to want to enjoy some pureed apple pie with your Thanksgiving dinner. I am a dietetic intern from Mount Mary University and for the past few weeks I've been working in the Food and Nutrition Services Department of Freighter Health and one of the things that I have been working on is the rollout of ITSI which I'm going to introduce to you today if you have not heard about it already. ITSI stands for International Dysphagia Diet Standardization Initiative and what that is is a global collaboration of so many people and they have created seven different levels of texture modified foods and thickened liquids to help keep patients safe and nourished. All hospitals will be switching over to this new framework and as of Thursday, October 21st, thanks to the help of so many people, the entire Freighter Health System is now using the new framework for ANSI. So what I'm going to do today is just introduce a few of the texture modified foods. What I have here is a breakfast that satisfies all of the criteria for a level six soft and bite-sized meal, and you might actually hear the nickname chopped. Soft and bite-sized is actually the closest to being considered a normal diet. What I have here is a standard egg and cheese omelet. These are diced peaches, and to satisfy the criteria, they have been drained, so there's no juices there. And what this is, I bet you haven't guessed it, it's not an English muffin. It is pureed Raisin Bran cereal. So I'm excited to try that today. And what this used to be called, this is a thickened liquid, this is a coffee. It used to be called nectar, now it is mildly thick. So I am going to start with trying this omelet first. And like I said, this is soft and bite-sized. To satisfy this criteria, you use a fork test all of these pieces have been chopped so that they're easy to eat without anybody having to cut them up but all of the pieces are smaller than the width of a fork so let's just bite into this the cheese is actually on the inside so whew, this is pretty much going to taste like just a omelet that's already been cut up for me oh yeah that is a good healthy breakfast now let's get some healthy fruit that has already been Drain, so we don't have to worry about the juices. Do a little bit more of that. I'm going to finish that omelet in a little bit, but I've got to try. I'll actually use my spoon for this because it is pureed. So what that means is that it is smooth, it is creamy, and there are no lumps. So, and what this is, it can't be too sticky, otherwise that can be dangerous for patients. So I'm going to use the spoon test. And I'm going to just do that and as you can see hardly any stuck to it so this is safe to eat for people that can eat pureed foods but let's bite into this I didn't know what I was getting into but that is actually way better than I expected that smile is real I'm trying to think what it tastes like it tastes like raisin bran cereal I would eat that regularly that is delicious but before we move on let's just try some of this mildly thick coffee and it's pretty much just gonna taste like coffee. The mix that goes in here is unflavored. And as you can see, it's just a little bit thicker. And you would test that using a syringe. But I'm just going to take a drink. And it really is unflavored. It tastes just like coffee, it's just different. A thick and liquid that is safer for patients to drink and not choke on. But yeah, that was delicious. Now let's move on to lunch. All right, it is time for lunch. I'm excited for all this. Everything I have here on my tray satisfies the criteria for level five, which is titled minced and moist. You might hear the nickname ground. So I am going to get to try today a ground or minced and moist 
cheeseburger, which is gonna have, of course, the beef. It's got cheese mixed in with it, along with gravy, and that is actually being served over pureed bread. It is being served with some healthy pureed carrots, and then over here, we've got some blended chicken noodle soup, which is blended to the consistency of moderate, which used to be called, with the old system, honey thick. So we've got that, and then I don't think I'm gonna drink any of this milk, but we just wanted to show it off. This is a thickened dairy drink, thanks to Cisco. It is mildly thick, or used to be called nectar, just like that coffee was that I had with breakfast. But let's take our fork, we're just gonna move this over so I can show you guys, but this is minced and moist. In order to satisfy the requirements, all of these little pieces, the ground pieces, are gonna be able to fit in the little crevices of the fork. So that is pretty cool. Also, it's gotta be able to push down without bouncing back up. So this satisfies, as you can see, the requirements for minced and moist. And then because the pureed bread on the bottom is pureed, it is going to be smooth with no lumps. So that satisfies everything for a level five patient too. But let's just get all this up, Ooh, into a bite. Let's have some brown cheeseburger with gravy. Oh yeah, that's good with the gravy. With the old dysphagia diet criteria, we were able to smother something with gravy, but it's not like that anymore. It's a lot safer to mix it in. So actually, we just had that bite. Let's mix it with the puree bread. See, there's the bread there. The way that they had it set here, it actually looked like bread. So that helps me uh, want to enjoy it. Let's dig in. You can definitely taste the beef. And I will say, this is very easy to chew. So this is delicious. And actually, just like that cereal for breakfast, I'm most surprised by the bread. That bread is pretty good. So a lot of flavor to it. Let's switch over to the pureed carrots. And I'm gonna use my spoon for that. Uh, just like earlier, we're gonna use the spoon test. You can just see right away. You don't even need to really test it too much. It is pureed, so it is smooth. No lumps in that. I do this, it all kind of goes away. It does satisfy the requirements of pureed. So let's just enjoy some carrots. Yeah, very good. Definitely edible, easy to eat, pretty delicious. I knew that was gonna be good. Now let's try this soup. I've never had blended soup. This is a moderately thick consistency. You can see it's a little bit thicker than the coffee was earlier. It's got the chicken and everything already in it. Let's have one more bite of soup. Yeah, that's delicious too. Oh yeah, that was delicious. None left behind. All right, let's move on to dinner. All right, it is time for some dinner. Everything that I have on my tray here satisfies the criteria for level four, which is pureed. And there is no change there. It's always been called pureed. I've got here some pasta with meat sauce that's pureed. Right here, we've got broccoli pureed. And then I cannot wait to sample for you guys this pureed apple pie. And along the way, I do have some prepackaged, moderately thick cranberry juice. So all of this is pureed, so it is just like I've already talked about. It's going to be smooth with no lumps. What I have here, I haven't done this test yet. The pureed food does not drip through the fork at all. And level four pureed is actually the same as the thickened liquids level extremely thick. So that won't do this either. So we do satisfy the requirements of pureed there. And then let's go back to the spoon test. Make sure it's not too sticky. Let's do that. Yes, it all kind of goes away. So let's just dig in. We'll use our fork for this. Either utensil will work. And just moving it around in my mouth, there's definitely no lumps. That is really well done. Compliments to the chefs. Let's take another big bite. And it really does taste just like pasta and meat sauce. That is great. I've never had pureed broccoli before. Let's have this. Similarly, it's not dripping and it's gonna be smooth with no lumps. Oh yeah, definitely broccoli. Love the color to it as well. That is good. Cheers, a little cranberry juice. Tastes just like cranberry juice. It's just a lot thicker. But before we go over to the apple pie, let's just have one more thing of pasta. That is great. And this is actually new. 
uh, to some of the hospitals of Freighter. This is pureed apple pie. Just look at that. There's no lumps. Let's make sure it satisfies the requirements. No dripping, nothing like that. No uh, excess liquids that are bleeding. Ooh, we're taking a big bite for this one. And I am cheating, I've had this before. As part of the testing phase for all this itsy stuff. Delicious, I would definitely eat this as a normal dessert. This has been delicious, but I've gotta say I'm most surprised by the pureed breakfast cereal that I had at the beginning and the pureed bread that I had too, but yeah. If you've heard about Itsy but didn't know a whole lot about it, hopefully you have a better understanding. Texture modified foods and thick and liquids get a lot of bad rap for sometimes of how they look, but a lot has been put into the planning of trying to make all this food as presentable and delicious, safe to eat as possible. And after trying all this, I must say it was delicious. So that is it for this video. Just want to say thanks for watching and big thank you to all of the staff here with the entire freighter system. Thank you for everything that you do for the community to keep patients safe. You guys have a great rest of your day.